Hey guys, guess who's back on track? <laughs> yes, I am back on track and I'm feeling much better. Sort of, kind of, I could be lying. <laughs> but I missed you guys so much. I can't take it. So this beautiful mess, we'll jump right into it. I'm not going to talk about what I've been through. I've been sick. Everybody's been there. But guess what? I'm back. And I feel better. And hopefully I'll have uh, some, what do you call it? What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Some oomph, fire lit under my, my tukas. Get in here. Because I have my mojo. I mean, I've been feeling ill. I've gotten it, most of it taken care of. And, you know, I'm just, I think I'm at a point where I'm just tired of hearing that everything I'm going through and everything I'm feeling is because I've quit smoking. Because, you know, now I'm at a point where, okay, enough is enough. How long is this going to last? Okay? Let's get it over, be over, and move on. Because I'm getting a little frustrated. Now I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. But there has been a couple times, and I will not lie, there has been a couple times since I've been sick on and off, that I've actually said, I'm just going to start smoking again so I can feel normal. But, of course, I did not. I did not give in to that pressure. So what am I messing with? I'm messing with, so now I'm playing crunch. That's what's happening. I'm playing crunch. Um, I re I finished, where, where, I don't, you know, I don't even remember where we left off. I finished Angela's journal, that's been gone. I think I let you guys know that. I had a custom order from Doreen from Ula La Vintage Treasures. I'm pretty sure I let you know that. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I might not have. <laughs> I might have been in such a rush when I started to feel better and got back in here that I just like whipped her bag and her. Okay, so what Doreen ordered? What's the best way for me to show you? Let's, let's, let me get some of this stuff out. This is, okay, this is, do you remember, I know a lot of you will remember, and some of you will not. Do you remember when I had a lot, my la one of my last lines, and I said, whoever remembers what I just said, blah, 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 you're going to win a mini journal, a free mini journal. So that's what Joe's doing. Joe's trying to catch up. Everything's done. All the little mini journal covers are finished. I think um, there's 10 of them. It, feel, it feels like more, <laughs> but there's 10 of them. I did one last night, <laughs> and then I prepped all the other ones before I went to bed. So it's a mini little journal. It measures four by three and a half, three and a quarter. I don't know what my measuring tape is. You know, I did um, stenciling. I did... Um, staining on all of them I did something a little different so they're not the covers are not all the covers are not all um exactly the same see that one that one's a little different that one I just did uh what did I do on this one why am I auto focusing I don't like auto focus can I get that off while I'm recording let's see yes okay so good that's done no auto focus so this is, it, this one just has gesso, crackles, and just dress stain. This one I did texture paste, so it's got, you know, lots of gunk and ridges in this one too. And then some I just did um, the stenciling and then the, the distress. I've, I've made new concoctions. <laughs> there's so many things. I, I don't even know what I'm going to call this video because there's so many things that I've been doing. Like every day I've been, oh, I feel a little good today. Let me go in my room. Oh, today, let me try this. So it's a combination of working on the mini journals. I made a little pack. I'm gonna, they're all going to have the same amount of papers, different papers, but I started them off, you know, basically the same. They're blanks for just, just for writing. There's some ephemera. There's some white paper. There's some tracing paper, vellum, old book pages. And then I made two pockets little pocket in the back. I'll have a little tag in there. And I believe these are, these tags are from uh, a kit I had from Tracy Fox. Um, what else? There'll be a little pocket here. I've done, did the, the mixed media stuffy on the outside and on the inside, I just decoupaged with either tissue 
sewing tissue. And then with this one is, I believe this is like that Tim Holtz. I don't know where it is right now. It's like a Tim Holtz roll. Wait a minute. I know where it is. I'll get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So it's this thing. Uh, a lot of you probably know who this, what this is. I don't remember because it's been, uh, this is just one of those things that I bought three years ago when I first started coming up on three years, coming up on my third year anniversary of making journals, not of YouTubing, but of making journals. So happy birthday to me soon. I think uh, September or October. But um, you know this tissue I'm talking about. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like maps, it's ledgers, it's postal stamps, and I and you can and you decoupage with it. And I think I'm pretty sure it's by Tim Holtz or um, what's that other company? Um, I don't know. I don't know. My brain is even worse than it was before. So <laughs> enjoy that. Okay, so five journals. Oh, ten journals and. The list I have, here's the thing. Since I've been down and out and sick and down and up and down, I had all kinds of ultrasounds and CAT scans. They thought I had a problem with my liver. Thank God I don't. They thought there was a problem um, with my lungs. Thank God from what they're saying, I don't. They want to keep an eye on it. So I have some nodules in my lungs. <laughs> and they're going to keep an eye on them. Here it is, I quit smoking and um, having all kinds of problems, but I'll be okay. It'll be good, positivity. So back to the 10 journals. The 10 journals, that day of that live, I said, first 10 people who get this answer right, are gonna win a mini journal, yada, yada, yada. Those winners were, and I wrote them down, thank God, Jenny, Angela, Mayor, Michelle Scott, Jean Morgan, Darlene, Cheryl, Dina, Roxanne, Helen. So I know who Roxanne is right off the start. I know who Darlene is right off the start. And Michelle Scott, Mayor, Angela, and Jenny. I don't remember which Cheryl it was. So you're going to have to let me know. I'll actually hold on to the little um, mini journal until you let me know. Um, Dina, I'm going to need a reminder. And Helen, I'm going to need a reminder. And I believe it's a Helen F, I think I wrote. You guys, if you know who they are, let me know. I can search them out because I can't remember off because it's been so long. You know, the brain, she's not so good. But those ladies, you're going to have to um, contact me through email. You can contact me through Facebook at Josephine Aguirre. You can contact me on instant um, um, instant messenger i just said that through instagram sorry instagram at joe's jersey journals and that's that's for that for the mini journals so i figured i'd come on do a little record of me working on my journals um haven't gotten too far with my slim journals it's like been an up and down roller coaster with the health so i haven't really worked on those too much i think i've only started working on the one and I haven't even sewn in the signature, but I was told by somebody that they're going to be doing their digital release very soon. Can't mention that just yet, but I'm going to, can't wait. I'm so excited. So I put a pause on my slim journals so that I can add some of those beautiful digitals into my slim journals. Okay. So those are on hold, but you know, I told you they're going to be. Slim journals in a bag. I don't know if I'm going to put them in a bag or if I'm going to put them in an envelope, but they're all, again, going to be very similar. And there's a lot of them because what I did was the paper that I ordered, this paper that I ordered from, I can't remember who's who. This one is either from Mixed Media Minnesota or it's from Ray something or other i'll click their links below i this one i um raise them they both i both got them both on instagram where's the other ones i have a whole thing of them Where are they? oh one second Whee! rolling 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 oh did i tell you i don't think i told you guys i'm so happy i can't do a reveal on my space yet because it's not ready but Eric moved out. 
<laughs> Eric moved out. His computer, his desk, everything is gone. So now this whole room, it's not a big room. It's probably like a, if I had to guess, I'm going to take a guess. And I'm going to say uh, it's probably a little bigger than a 12 by 8. I'll measure it one of these days. It's not big. It's like a room off the kitchen. It's not huge. But it's all mine. And that's all I care about. I don't have a door. Because <laughs> it's a room off the kitchen. I don't have a door. But that's okay. I, you got to make do with what you got. But when he told me, I was sick. I was still under the covers. He told me, I'm taking all my stuff out of the room, Joe. And the room's going to be yours. I was so happy. I was like, oh, no, babe. You don't have to do that. It's okay. But inside, I was like, yes. You do it. Get out. Move. <laughs> I'm not well. I'm not. I wasn't well before. I think I'm worse off now. More crazy than it was before. It's funny. Anyway, so these are all those journals. Do you ready? I think there's either, there's anywhere from 25 to 30 of these journals. And the reason why I made so many, and I'm going to try to make them inexpensive as possible, because I just want them to be done and go. Finish, easy peasy, pretty, but easy peasy gone and not grungy. We're not, these are not going to be grungy. Only these are grungy. Um, so I had, I believe I had... 10 or 15 of these, this coffee dyed paper with the stencils on it, I believe these are from Mixed Media Minnesota, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that once before, so this one's not, has not come up yet, so that's Mixed Media Minnesota, then I ordered more, because I just love them, and you know, you could do this, I could do this myself, I don't have the silicone things, but how hard is it to get? I just didn't feel like doing it. <laughs> I enjoy supporting others, other channels and other shops. So when I can, I, I'll purchase, I'll do purchase, I'll purchase from somebody else's shop. These are Ray's something or other. I don't remember, but I know that it's still in my, in my Etsy shop for purchases that I purchased. So I'll just put that in there. I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm just excited. Yep. Yeah. I'm just so excited to be here. So there's like 30 of those. They're going to be simple. They're not going to be, um, you know, too, too cray cray. Um, some of them will have a closure like this. Some will have just a wrap around. I also ordered some more sorry silk. That's on the way. And when these are all done, I'll let you guys know. And then if you're interested, you let me know. And I'll get one out to you. Nothing crazy. It's not gonna, it's not a kit. It's just a simple shabby shabby shiki kind of slim thing. I don't know. But anyway. Coffee paper, whatever. The high um it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still drinking coffee. Okay, what else? Talked about the journal. I'm gonna do a video another day. Where's my phone? I need my phone. I'm going to do a new video on another day for um, Miss Natasha from Treasure Books. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Hold on one second. She did, oh, what was this mess? This is a hot mess. She did, um, oh, stop that. She did a video on, um, oh, what did she call it? Oh, tracing paper. Go over there and look. I'm going to do another video because I've been doing it too, like on downtime on when I have a f few moments to do it. I, oh my God. It's amazing. Amazing. Can't wait to do that. Um, that I think is, that's it. I think that's it. So I pre-prepped all my little papers. I didn't size them, cut them down to size or anything. I just wanted to make sure that they were all set up. And that's, that's pretty much it. And I like, look at that. That one's, to me, that one's perfect. I like when they stick out a little bit. I do. So those are done. I just have to sew those bad boys in real quick. So now that I've talked and blabbed and gabbed all about me, 
<laughs> tell me in the comments below guys what's going on how is everybody i feel like i haven't been in touch with anyone for over a year i mean i know i don't spend it but it feels like that god i gotta do a live i miss yapping with you people um i stay in touch i have a few a few of you that stay in touch with me daily <laughs> daily and i love it I've, I've made so many friends i'm so happy um but i, I just miss having i think i've just missed having my lives and talking to everybody at once and the laughing and the coughing sneezing and choking and hives and, <laughs> and nebulizer treatments <laughs> inhalers because <laughs> you guys make me laugh you make me laugh and smile and How's everybody doing? I'm not, oh, um, also, once I'm really, really good, good, I'm going to be spending a lot less time in my craft room for a little while because, uh, I've been going through, I've been going through sadness. I've been going through this sadness again, again, and it's weird because I don't usually go through too much sadness and, and I try not to, but, um, you know, I don't know. For anybody who knows or remembers uh, when my pug passed away, it was hard. For, it's It's been so hard. And I don't understand because I've had other dogs that have passed. And, of course, you miss them. And I do. I miss all of my ba fur babies. There was just something about my, my Lucy. I don't know. I'm having a hard time without her. And I think when I really, really think about it, I think it comes down to the fact that Maybe it's because um, I delivered her, you know, for a neighbor. My, my na and I didn't, I didn't even like pugs. I didn't like pugs. I was not a pug person. Not that I didn't like them, you know. I just, you know, some dogs you think are prettier, cuter, whatever, than others. I was just not, I wasn't a pug person, you know. I didn't think they were the whole flat face and the breathing with the, <sighs> you know, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Okay. So... I had no intentions back then when I delivered Lucy for my neighbor. Delivered her with her five sisters. I should check to see if this was upside down. No, it's good. Um, I delivered her with five sisters, four Nate from one of my neighbors. And um, Lucy was born. She wasn't breathing. Long story short, because it's yada, 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 yada. Um, I ended up taking Lucy. Okay, because I felt bad for her. Her mother wasn't really, like, feeding her properly. And it was just the whole situation was just sad. And I felt bad. I was like, I just literally brought this dog back to life because she was born. She wasn't breathing. And now the mom doesn't want nothing to do with her. And they, you know what they say, animals know if they're sick or something. But I just couldn't. I couldn't let nature take its course, you know. I just couldn't do it. Plus, the owners had a six-year-old daughter and she sees the this little pug in my hand that's you know limp and lifeless and she's hysterical so i was on a mission i wasn't gonna let that dog wasn't gonna die on my watch and she didn't lucy came back she took a first breath and the rest was history and i was there every day feeding her bottle feeding her because mama wouldn't feed her so i got very attached to this pug needless to say and I think maybe that has um, a lot to do with why I'm hurting so much without my without my Lucy. It's, it was she was like my. You love all your animals, but Lucy just there was just something about my Lucy. I can't. <sighs> Anyhow, so I've been sad. I forgot where I was going with this whole thing. <laughs> I forgot where I was going with this whole story. People, I just miss. Just been sad. So, I forgot what I was talking about, of course. Anyway, making the little mini journals. That's it. That's all I got on my on my plate. It's just making the mini journals. Then once they're done, I ship those out. Don't forget to contact me if I mention your name. I remember Jenny. Angela. I know I said it a few minutes ago. I'm saying it again because, you know, it's me. Jenny, Angela, Mar, Michelle, Scott, you're good to go. I need Jean Morgan, Cheryl, Dina, 
and Helen to either send me an email, comment here that you've seen it. You guys, you know, it's easy. You contact me either through Facebook or Instagram or my email. Email, I don't, most people do maybe prefer email. I don't like email because I don't check it every single day. Best way to contact me is either through Facebook or Instagram or comment. You know, you leave a comment here. And then uh, everybody else, Darlene and Roxanne, I have all your, I think I still actually have all your information, so I'm, you won't need to do much of anything. So I think what I'm just going to do for the rest of today is part, this part, which is part, what, four, three, two, one? Don't know. Instead of doing one, you know, decorating it, moving on to the next one, I think I'm just going to sew all my signatures in, get all my papers adjusted and, and set up. I have my washi tapes for, for decorating and whatever, and I have my sorry silks and my butterfly bag and what else cheesy cloth and some faux tape i love this i love that word now that i know what it is some faux this faux that faux this faux faux fee fi fo um um yes i'm addicted to this too now this one i didn't like this one didn't like it. but the, the making the scotch you know the vintage looking scotch tape oh such i'm so addicted i love it tracing paper piece of tracing paper if you've never done it before i i used to do it just with my ink pad and i loved how it looked and then one day just for the heck of it i did i did it i tried it on um i tried it on who did it that i saw oh i can't remember i remember her face it's in my head but I can't remember her Facebook off the top of my head. I'll put her link down below too. But look at how cool that is. Scotch tape and it's um, alcohol ink. So what she tells you to do, and I did, I followed her directions to the T, is to take a piece of tracing paper and put your scotch tape on it. Let me put this somewhere else. Let me just put this random. Uh, you take a piece of scotch, the pink tracing paper, you take pieces of scotch tape as long as you want them you put them on the tracing paper literally take some alcohol inks put it on the on the scotch tape i don't remember if she spritzed it with water i did and then i let it run a little bit and it's like the best thing ever and even when i was drying it i didn't let it air dry i was in a rush of course because you know joe is like let's go let's go um it started to lift up but it doesn't lose its stick and that was that's i like that part a lot it didn't lose its sticky, its stickiness. So I will make that in the, you know what? I should write myself a note what to do because I'm not going to remember. Link, uh, how to make, link, how to make the, what is it? Vintage, I guess washi tape, right? Because I'll forget. And then what else was I going to link here? Oh, where I bought the coffee dye papers. And what else did I say? I think that was it, right? The coffee dye papers link, because these papers, these are from Ray also. They're gorgeous. Love them. Ray, uh, Shannon, Mixed Media, Minnesota. What else? Oh, this I'll do for, this is for that. Then I need to, see, I'll write this down because I'll forget. I need to make a video on the faux rice paper. And then for I just remembered it and now it's gone again. I can't remember. But I know. I remember, but I can't remember. You know, you know what I mean? I remember, but I can't remember. Okay, so that is it. I'm not going to keep recording. Oof, that's got a long way to be ripped. I'm not going to keep keep recording because this is boring. Um, But I just wanted to come on. 
say hi to all you guys, let you know what's going on, what's not going on. Tell you that I'm missing you it's like cray cray. You like my measuring? It's the measuring skills. You know me and my measuring skills. I sit, measure. Uh, what else? Anything else I could tell you? I don't know. Not much has happened. Not much has happened at all. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Get rid of that one later. There's been um very little excitement. <laughs> very very little of nothing has been happening around here. Um, because everybody's been well, not everybody's been good. Richard's been great. <laughs> everybody else, me and Eric is everybody else. Uh, puppy's good, he's great. Ozzy's driving me crazy. He's good though. He's uh, you know, when you're when you're not feeling well, I think that's when you really get to realize what kind of animals you have. And this guy, he was very he was very well behaved, I have to say. I was quite shocked because um he's a crazy puppy. And he was just so good and calm every time he came near me. Because guys, when I tell you, I was out of it. I was either on the bed, under the covers, just sleeping the day away, or I was in the living room on the sofa, miserable. I mean, I couldn't really eat. I just wasn't, I wasn't well. It was, I don't, and nobody knows what it was. First, I was the flu, and then they thought I had COVID, and then they thought I had pneumonia, and it was this, that, and the other. Just really annoying when you don't know what's going on and, then, and that's what it pretty much was just a bunch of running back and forward to different doctors telling me oh you don't have COVID so you have to have this and testing and can't find out what was wrong until and like I said till this day was it the flu it that was just I've had a flu that was just what I went through was awful um it was just it was awful I couldn't stay awake I was always sleeping, had zero, zero energy. Um, they did a flu test. They did pneumonia testing. It was just, I was a mess. Everything's negative, negative. So then what is it? I, now we're at a place where I don't feel sick anymore, but there's something else going on now because of course I'm not smoking. I feel everything. It's been exhausting. It's just been exhausting. It's a good thing I have a lot of energy because that was that was a rough road. I've been down a lot of rough roads in my life, and that one, that one was that one was hard. I, I got very sad. I don't like being down. I mean, we all get sick, but I I didn't I didn't like being out of commission that long. I really didn't. I'm messing everything up here. Um, what else? That's about it. It's better. I did say 10 minutes ago that I was going to keep you, right? And I'm keeping you. <laughs> I'm keeping you because I love you and I miss you. Making the mini journal. Getting this out of the way. And then, um, the only thing I could think of is to do that one video. I'm not really, um, you guys know, I'm not really, I'm actually not really comfortable yet with Let's Makes together it's unless it's something that i've already made and i'm like oh let me show them but everything I'm, i feel like everything i do make is repetitive same thing over and over. i'm not very creative <laughs> i'm a talker i like to talk that's why i think i like my lives so much but um oh that's what i was telling you see i remember now i have to keep you longer <laughs> Now I'm going to be keeping you longer because I remember what it was why I was telling you the whole puppy story because I've decided to volunteer at a couple of, um, there is a place here near me that does like hospice care for dogs. Um, yeah, and that's what I said and that's exactly what it is. It's hospice for dogs. Basically, this um, organization takes in all the undesirables, cleft palates, cancer, um, all the all the unhealthy dogs, the seniors, even the puppies, um, the the dogs that have lost limbs or have some kind of trauma, brain trauma, 
it's very sad, but it's also, um, here we go. It's also very fulfilling to know for me personally, I'm a, I'm a huge animal person and it just makes me feel really, really, really good to know that an animal that is already suffering, that I can help them a little bit to give them quality of life before their time. So just like a human. I mean, I, I, and that's, don't get me wrong. I don't, it's not that I don't care about people because I've done, I've done uh, home health aid work for, for many, many years. Um, but something happened to me and that's why I was getting, going through the Lucy story. Something happened to me after my Lucy passed. And I just, what I saw her go through was very difficult. And a little, even a little bit of um, my Luna, the, the Shih Tzu that I rescued four years ago. I knew that when I rescued her, she had special needs. She had cancer and she had bladder cancer and she was 12 years old. And everybody thought I was crazy for rescuing, uh, you know, such a senior dog. It, that's just who I am. You know, I, I didn't want that dog to pass away in a cold facility, you know, because she was in the shelter. I didn't want her to die in there alone. It's just, I didn't know her. It just bothered me to know that this dog was in there. It just, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. It just bothered me tremendously. So I ran up to that shelter. These papers, you can tell, look how, how old they are. They're just crumbling. Um, so yeah, I couldn't leave her in there. I, I just couldn't do it. And ever since I did that, and then what I dealt with with my Lucy, because Lucy was diagnosed with, um, the pug encephalitis. And then a month later, we lost her. She was gone. For some reason, because of those extent, what I went through with them, it's just made me want to help other dogs, cats, dogs, anything, lizard, frog. Any, any animal that's, you know, not wanted because of their illness or because of their age, you know, you don't realize how many people are out there that will, <laughs> will get rid of their dogs because they're too old, you know, to me, that's, that's, that's not placing judgment, but that's just something you don't do, you know, I can understand if it's a situation of, you know, financial obligation, your dog is sick cat is very ill you can't afford but you want them to get the best of care then you then that's what this facility is um this place is that place to take your pets that are ill that don't have a lot of life left in them more too old and they just need a place to be happy live out the rest of their lives um whether it's with medication or just a place to live you know because for whatever reasons, they just don't have a home anymore. So I just have to make sure I promise myself to not to bring them home. home. <laughs> I can't bring them home. But I've decided I want to volunteer there. So I've called. I've given all my information. And they were very happy to hear. Because they pretty much know me. They know me. From what I went through with Luna. I, the Shih Tzu that they had the cancer. And um, now I'm going to be going there probably just two or three times a week. Spending a few hours. Just giving somebody some love. So now I'm going to have even less time to be in here. So either it's going to be okay and I'll figure things out. Or I'm just going to have to start staying in here later at night. I'm going to try. It's really hard for me to do that. I'm not a, I used to be a night owl. I'm not so much a night owl anymore. Not like I used to be. But that's about it. Literally, that's it. That's it. I think that's it. No more news to behold, is there? Mm, went through the health. Went through the job. Went through this and that. Richard's driving. You know that Richard's driving. Have I told you that Richard's driving? See, I can't remember anything unless it's written down. Did I tell you guys that my Richard's driving? He's a good driver. He's a very cautious, safe driver. 
better than I am. I'm like, just go. Don't look. You look left. You look right. Now just go. <laughs> Making him nervous. <laughs> I did. I made him very nervous when he first started driving. So much that that's why he was like, I think I'd like to get driving lessons. <laughs> I drove my son nuts. I drove everybody nuts. You know, I don't think I would be me if I didn't drive everybody nuts. Um, but he did so good with his lessons. His lessons, that's what a racket. That's a racket. I don't know about you guys, but wow. 350? No, it was $395 for six hours. Are you kidding me? Mm. <laughs> oh my God. That's what happens when you don't have a parent that's, let's go for a ride and learn how to drive. Okay, slow down, put on your brakes, put your left boots on. No, I'm like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> like, I'm like a heavy metal song when I'm trying to teach you how to drive. Turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny, I know. <laughs> So, that being said, <laughs> I'm a horrible parent. <laughs> I'm like, what's the matter with you? Pull over! <laughs> I can't. That is one area I, I couldn't teach any of my kids how to drive. I have no patience. I was, um, I was born a driver. And I was born an aggressive driver. Not like dangerous aggressive just like okay we're in the, you're in the car just go just drive don't hesitate if you hesitate hesitation causes accidents just go <laughs> so nobody nobody i can't teach anybody else how to drive and i've known that for a very very long time so but i thought that you know with age i've calmed down and i have i've calmed down quite a bit in my old age and i'm very proud of myself but for certain things i have not for certain things, apparently, I have not calmed down at all. And, um, yeah. So, I, I agreed. Sent him to the... We had to split the... I wasn't paying that whole bill. Are you crazy? No, $395. I love you, but I don't love you. So I can't pay that. That's just crazy. But I wanted him to learn how to drive. So, um, took him to... I don't even remember. Atlantic Driving School, I think it was called. It's, Took him there, and his first day out, I'm thinking, they, they, you know, they tell you, they say, oh, we're going to take him to this, this parking lot down the road, it's empty, we're going to drive, they're going to drive around the parking lot, we'll know if he's ready to go up on, go out on the road. I said, okay, <laughs> in your hands, I'll be back in two hours to pick him up. So it's a two-hour lesson, it's three lessons, two, four, six, yep, yeah, two, two, three lessons, right? And then, yeah, that's it, you're done. <laughs> Then you're on your own. $395. So three days. That was just insane. I thought that was a lot of money. To me, that's 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 just they must be loaded. Those that place because I know I'm not the only parent. I I I know other parents that are just like, I can't take my kid out. That's not working out. So I don't feel too too bad about not having the patience. I think that the way I handle not having patience. Is terrible, and I know I hey, I know my flaws. Okay, <laughs> I know my flaws. I knew it before he even started driving that I wasn't gonna be able to do it. So I just didn't think I was gonna have to pay three hundred ninety five dollars for him to learn. So he goes out on his first, on his first, you know, driving thing. Two hours. I'm in the car because I didn't even go home. I stayed in the parking lot waiting. I was biting my nails in the car. I got it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, 10, 15 minutes later, half an hour later, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like in the car freaking out like this, just freaking out, thinking the worst, the worst situation. Oh my God, they must pull over. They can't drive him. They're giving him, you know, he's giving them a hard time. They're giving him a hard, it was just, a I was a mess. And I was mostly worried about God forbid something happening, you know, because the last, <laughs> the last time my son and I went driving together, was a year ago, okay? He, okay. long story short, Richard got his permit through school. Yay, let's go play, let's go practice driving. I couldn't do it. 
I, I, it was just, I couldn't do it. And six months flew by. We, I think we practiced six times in, in, in the six months. I think it was like, really, I, I just couldn't do it. And my intentions were, um, what were my intentions? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember. Um, my intentions, okay, because this is what happened. We had a situation. We went out, we we're out driving, and I don't know what happened. He blew a stop sign. He just blew a stop sign. Hello. I freaked, freaked out. Oh my God. What the F is wrong with you? Now you would exaggerate. I lost it. I pooped myself. <laughs> Because if there was another, I don't have to tell you, if there was another car coming at the time, we would have been smooshed. <laughs> it would have been boom and done. We would have been done. Bye-bye car. Oh, my God. Good thing we were, like, in a residential area. So it was, like, what, 25? Some roads are 35. But that was it. I was done. I'm like, you're not ready. We're done. He pulled over, and he was holding the wheel, and he's like, I don't think I'm ready. So that's basically what happened. He just wasn't mentally, it could have been a little bit of me and who I am. And I made him nervous. But I just saw it in his face, even before we got on, got on the road. He just wasn't ready. Richard is a little behind. So I knew he wasn't ready to, to, to be a driver. It just... He wasn't ready to be a driver. I was not ready to teach him. It was not happening. So I said, you know what? Let's give it a year. We'll try again next year. We'll see what happens. So try it again. A year later, he needed his, his uh, knowledge test renewed. So we had to get his knowledge test renewed. So that's what we did. And then after the knowledge test, I think I told you he failed it twice, I think it was. Yeah, like twice he failed in his knowledge test. Not a really, really big deal. You know, I was already at a point where I was like, you know what, just gives him more time to, to practice reading the book and whatever. And I wasn't in a rush for him to get on the road anyway. I, I, I just, I wasn't. So, <laughs> he finally passes the knowledge the, the knowledge test. And I just knew if we, as soon as we got out on the road, he was doing better. I gave, given him that he had a year, you know, to mature more. He was definitely better, but I knew for a fact that I couldn't teach him. I, I was definitely not going to be able to teach him how to drive. I just didn't have the patience. I couldn't do it. Nope, nope, nope. So on we went to the driving school. That cost us a fortune. He did his first his first trip, and the guy came back saying how great. Oh my God! He says your son is such a good driver. I said what? And who are you talking to? Are you telling me? Are you telling, is this somebody else's kid? He's like, no. He goes, Miss, he called me Mrs. He called me Miss A. That's what the driver guy called. And he was an older man. Hello, he was older than me. And he called me Miss A. So whatever. So he calls me Miss A. He's such a good boy. I know that. And talk to me about the driving. He's a good boy. He's like, he's got the patience of a saint. I don't know where he gets that from. Because they didn't get that from me. <laughs> he didn't get that from me, but I'm glad he has it because I don't have the patience of a saint. <laughs> he did good. So now that, you know, I got all this positive feedback about him and his driving on his last day. I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. I can't believe it. On his last day of driving, we're into 43 minutes. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to stop it talking. I could talk for hours. On his last lesson, on his last lesson day, I followed him. I followed him because I needed to see for myself how he was driving. Hello? I stood like three cars behind, but I was watching and I'm whispering because he's here and I don't want him to know that I did that. He was like, zoom, 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 light stop, full turn, full speed. I was like, no way is that my son driving behind that car. So that all worked out really good. So now he's very used to driving that car. 
So now the problem that we have, it's not even really a problem. But now he's he's doing a lot better now. But when he first started practicing drive, because you have to continue, you got six months, to, three lessons, that's it, you're done, and then it's up to your parents. So I'm try I try to get in the car and I just keep reminding myself, keep your mouth shut, keep your mouth shut, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Joe, don't say nothing. Because I know I make him nervous. I make everybody nervous. Um but it's I feel so good. He's he really, really is a good driver. He's having trouble. It's getting better, but he's having trouble with like my vehicle with turns because I have uh SUV, I have a uh, GMC terrain. So the it's different from the car that they have them in this little teeny tiny car, like a matchbox car. You know, down the road. And then he goes from that into the SUV. And then Eric let him drive his truck. Oh my god! He said he did really good. I couldn't watch. I, I didn't want to watch that. that. I didn't want. I couldn't watch that. I, I couldn't. That made me sick. I would have thrown up. <laughs> but he's doing good. My little booby. He's just. That's it. This is the last one. And then I'm going to have a. What do they call it? An empty nest? <laughs> I can't even think about it. <laughs> I try not to think about it. Because you know he's going to leave. And that's just going to be me. With Eric. I'm gonna be stuck with Eric. I'm gonna really go nuts. <laughs> Anywho, let me let you guys go. This video is over. It's 45 minutes long. <laughs> and you know me, I don't edit. Still, I have a new computer, but I still I just don't get it. You know what? I got an idea. I will barter. Yeah. How am I gonna end my video today? I am willing to barter if someone is willing to FaceTime me and teach me how to edit my videos. I don't want them to be, you know, all jazzed up and beautiful. But I'll, I'll admit, it would be nice to have like a little intro, you know, ding, 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 something pretty on my on the screen that says Jill's Jersey Jill's. Um... But I would will I'm willing to do whatever whatever it takes. But I need a teacher. For a lot of things in my life, I'm a hands-on learning. I don't techie. I'm not a tech person. Excuse me. That was Ajita Burp. Sorry. I'm just not. I can turn something on. I can turn something off. That's it. I'm finished. <laughs> so you're on. Now I'm gonna turn you off with a button. Not over here anymore on my phone, but with the mouse button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's good talking to you again. I'm glad that I'm back. Hopefully, I can come up with something in my head that's original. Or, you know, just turn you on and see you on the live. All right? Have a great day, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.